Hi friends and welcome to Teacher Therapy. So I just wanna let you know really quickly off the bat that I am still recovering from a cold, so if I seem a little stuffy and my eyes seem a little bit cloudy, that is because I am recovering from some kind of weird bug. But anyway, something happened today that made me so absolutely furious and upset that I thought I absolutely must make a video about this because to me, it pretty much proves everything that's wrong with teaching today and why teachers quit. Well, let me go ahead and tell you what it is. Teachers quit today because of continuous blame, continuous shame, and an absolute lack of support. So let me tell you what happened today. We were forced to come to an early morning meeting and a very high district official, I will not tell you his title to protect the guilty, but anyway, came to basically address problems that teachers have had. There was an anonymous survey that went out and he came to address these problems. He said he would read them out loud and give his answer. Well, I was really excited about this because there's a lot of teacher concerns at my school and within our district, and I was thrilled to hear what his answers were. Well, spoiler alert, they were beyond disappointing. They were actually infuriating. For every question or comment or concern that a teacher expressed, he either blamed the teacher for the problem, shamed the teacher for having the audacity to write it down, or completely didn't support the teacher by giving some kind of nebulous excuse or some just really generic answer that didn't actually answer anything. So I just wanna give you a few specifics and see what you think about them. So teachers complained about really, really, really bad student behavior throughout the building and throughout the district. The administrator essentially said behavior is not that bad because he looked at the referral list and compared the numbers from the last few years and apparently we're down about maybe 20 or 30 referrals from last year and that was all the evidence he needed to prove to him that we don't have any behavior problems at the school not really at least and so he basically completely invalidated every concern that teacher has about behavior by saying well there's not a lot of office referrals so that means that the behavior is really good well of course any teacher knows there are about 10 million reasons why office referrals might be low. One of the reasons is because often administrators tell teachers do not send kids to the office. Another reason is that maybe teachers learn sending kids to the office does absolutely nothing. A third possible reason is that maybe kids do kind of get sent to the office, but maybe it's not officially written up by the administrator or who knows what happens to that piece of paper that shows the number of write-ups. So there's a million reasons why there may not be that right that many write-ups but for this district administrator that was enough for him to believe in his little heart that there are not really any behavior problems so the next concern kind of feeds into this one the teacher said that our current behavior management system absolutely is not working. It is not effective for the children. We use something called BIS that involves something called think sheets and kind of a timeout chair called a safe seat. And in more serious cases, sending kids to a buddy room, which amounts to them going to another grade level teacher and kind of sitting in a chair for 15 minutes or something and doing work. That is our entire behavior management system. As I have mentioned in other videos, kids don't really get in trouble. We can't take recess, et cetera, et cetera. So the teacher said BIS does not work for our students, there is a problem. The administrator then proceeds to say, BIST does work for all students, point blank period. BIST does work. He said, now some kids, it might take a little bit longer for BIST to work, and I can kind of see how that could be a little bit frustrating, but BIST does work. Case closed, moving on. So that was his answer for that. Next, one of the questions was about a massive sub shortage in our district and particularly in our building. Uh, subs kind of don't want to come. He literally said out of his mouth, well, it's not because of the children's behavior. It's because of the teachers. They're not welcoming the subs enough. They're not creating good enough lesson plans. They are not making the subs feel warm and welcome. So it's the teacher's fault. So another way teachers get blamed for the sub shortage. Then attendance comes up that attendance is a concern. This administrator then proceeds to say that that's the teacher's fault also. He proceeds to say that if a kid really likes the teacher and the teacher makes the kid happy, then the kid will wanna show up to school. And if that's not happening, then that's something broken and wrong at the teacher level. Attendance is also teacher's fault. Then here was the kicker. This is the one that nearly knocked me out my chair, you guys. He then proceeds to read another anonymous, these are all anonymous, teacher question, comment, concern. And it said something to the effect of teacher morale is at an all time low right now. What does the district plan to do to deal with this 
problem. He then proceeds to say, to, to say, excuse me, that teacher morale is not low. He then proceeds to say that he talks to a few teachers and they're happy, so therefore teacher morale is not at a low at all. That one made me really upset. I had to like control my facial expressions. I'm not one to like dramatically huff or storm out of meetings or really even say anything, but that one really kind of cut me close to the heart because by golly, my teacher morale is low and literally every teacher in the building and that I have talked to in this district is having low morale right now. And we expressed this to him in the survey that he said that he wanted and then he proceeds to say, nope, Teacher morale's not low. Next. Oh my gosh. Now, I could go on all night about the teacher concerns that were brought up and how they were shot down. But this one, this one will, will touch a teacher nerve. So somebody wrote about how the teachers have not been having a step up on the pay scale for the last five or six years. Yet this district administrator signed off to have pretty much the executive team and the superintendent team and all of that get a massive pay raise. He proceeds to dramatically take a breath and, and tell us that he's going to collect his thoughts before he speaks. And then he just sort of nails us. He talks about how people all of a sudden have digital courage when they're typing things out and how professionalism has gone out the window and where is the respect and acts really indignant about the fact that teachers would even bring this up and then proceeds to say, say, say that the upper administration works so hard and they're so smart and they're so dedicated and blah, blah, blah. That's why they deserved the massive pay increase and the teachers didn't. So wow, that's kind of, the, I'll just, I'll leave it at that. I could go on all night and as you can see, this meeting got me fired up. But it really, it kind of puts everything together. Essentially when teachers bring up concerns, they're either shamed for even having the question or the problem, or they're blamed for the problem, or maybe something super nebulous is brought up. And again, I could mention so many issues where a concern was brought up that literally only administration can fix, but he said something generic like, all oh, options are on the table. We're researching a lot of options. Everything will be fine. And so at best, teachers are kind of left feeling unsupported. At worst, teachers are feeling absolutely shamed and absolutely blamed for every problem that is going on in the school. Everything from attendance of elementary school kids to subs not wanting to come to the building to students out of control behaviors, everything gets blamed on the teachers and we feel totally unsupported. And that leads some of us to want to quit. And I'm going to be honest with you today. I just don't even know. Thank goodness spring break is a couple of days away because I had a real temptation to just get up and walk out and to say, you know what, if a district is going to disrespect their teachers this badly, to our faces after pretending to want to hear our real feedback, I don't even want to be here anymore. So excuse the emotion. It really got me upset today. Upset enough to film even when I'm sick, you guys. Just I know that there's some of you out there that have had similar situations, whether from meetings or administrators or one-on-ones or just kind of blanket emails that get sent out that are blaming you, shaming you, or just flat out not supporting you. So who you guys? I love you all. I hope everything gets better for all of us. I hope you guys have an amazing spring break, whatever your plans are. And you know what? Just hang in there for the rest of the school year if you can. But just know that you are not alone and there are teachers suffering it out all over America and all over the world. All right. Signing off. Love you guys. Have a great day.